Okay, another TVT. I know people said they wanted the TVT build. I'll go through it in detail in this game. Like, I'm not even sure if this is the best one, it's just the one I like. Like... I don't want to burst my own bubble or anything. <laughs> I was one of the first players like playing the Hellion crap. Like, I wasn't doing Blue Flame, but I was doing like um, Late Gas with an Expo into Mech. That was when I first came back. Like, when you're on a hiatus, even though you're not playing, you can think of strategies and stuff. And it, it just came to me that I thought that would work. And it, it did. Unfortunately, when I started playing the Koreans, they had something totally new, which was like fast gas into fast blue flame and stuff. And, you know, if you're fighting with like four blue flame Hellions against my six normal, you're actually going to win cost and cost effectively win too. Like, my build counted everything else, their build counted my build. So, you know, didn't really uh, do me much good against Koreans, but against everybody else I was doing fine. And I still use my old build to this day sometimes when I'm playing against like a foreigner or whatever. By a foreigner I mean like a QXCA MLG, even DD MLG. Like against Ganzi. I just, uh, yeah, he was using the Marine Combat Shield build, which I never saw before. And I was using the Fast Gas build with Blue Flame and Banshee. So everything that build was meant to counter, he countered with my against my build, so it was really unfortunate. <coughs> and yeah, my voice sounds a little groggy. Didn't really sleep much. Had to get up for a clan war this morning. <sighs> Tough life, you know. Again, I'm not gonna scout until I get the Hellion. If he scouts, that's cool. I'm gonna do quite a few minerals to ahead. If he scouts me on first position, just go straight back. He lost like, I don't know, 40 minerals, 50 maybe. If he goes all the way around the map with it, then he loses a lot more. And what, did, what do you really gain from it? Like, you get to see where I am, cool. What are you going to do with that information? Wait until you get a Hellion like I do? I mean, yeah, think of it like that. Like, what are you going to do with the information you get so early on? Answer is nothing, unless you're going to rush. So I guess it does make your opponent scared of a rush of some sort, but there's no real effective rush in this game, like in TVT anymore. One bunker solves it all. You can do these like three Reaper rushes, I guess. They're stupid. Don't do those. They're bad. I mean, I got, I can have all my crap at the front ready for something. So that's uh, that's pretty easy. If he does come up this back way, I've got so much space here. You know, I'll see him come up even on my minimap, and I just pop him. I just run back and pop him in the face. Okay, so rather than last time, this is when I make the second gas. As soon as the factory is going down, why am I giving a tutorial? You can see exactly what I'm doing. And yeah, just using mules every time I can. It's always good to have a line of marines. Like so. That means if anything does start coming up the ramp, they all start shooting at the same time. You can even like toggle forward and then shoot. And so on, you know. Surprise them a little bit. Look, see. So yeah, I can start getting those Hellions now. So my gas count would be much better this game, and I won't feel so... F I, I didn't feel like that far behind, because in general I feel like I can do stuff faster than most Tyrants, but like the game before, I was a little worried, because that Osiris cooking is not too bad. And it does worry me, like, one little mistake in TBT and you can lose the game pretty easily. So yeah, this build's working out much better. I'm gonna have enough gas for the Viking. Just about, yep. So everything, everything's gone really well, you know. So yeah, he's not there. Now I'm a little bit worried because he's not scaring me with a Hellion or anything. So I am going to start just, you know, throwing down an NG bay. He might be just going for the same build I am. Yep. Okay. So, so still not seeing him. I'm gonna make some Marines too. Marines are just cannon fodder. Like they're going to be useless late game. There we go. Yep. I know it's something. Little 
dog. Not enough minerals. Base is under attack. So yeah, I really hate these kind of people. <laughs> Welcome to NA, that's all I'm going to say. So yeah, I know he's not going to have another base now. Now I can just, well, I can't really chill because he's got a freaking factory near me somewhere. Question is where. Oh, there he comes again. Question is, do I wait? that second tank and then I can chop him up easily and he's going to try and focus it too so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep trying to move out of range because then it messes up there we go out my game bitch so yeah I'm not keen on this guy trying to cheese me also he's not actually like I don't think he actually scouted me this game so he's probably just watching the stream, <laughs> which is kind of funny. It's the first time that's happened to me because I don't stream a lot. Now I'm kind of wondering, like, is he going to keep going for this crap? It's not going to work. So yeah, it's going to be here. Now he's kind of worried. There we go. Pop. Pop's your uncle. He's gonna go to his base and kill him, hopefully. Oh, this guy's in. Oh, no. Nah. Absolute donkey. So, yeah, it has to be said. I don't really like this guy that much at the moment. Missile turret lives. I'm gonna get the range upgrade too, just to like troll him. Although it's a good upgrade, I have to admit. Where's he flying to? Yeah, this guy's dog shit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sorry for profanity. My bad. What the? F what the hell is this? It's like trying to snipe my SUVs or something. So it's factory, where the hell is it? Matey. Don't like him anymore. Alright, so he's got this little frickin' base outside my base. Ugh. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he is just watching my stream. Which, if you lose while well, you know what I'm doing, it's pretty bad. Stop making the Great Wall of China there. I've got that little gap there. I don't think Hellion's going to fit for it, but if they can, I'll find out. Is that gold? Wow, nice. I don't really know these maps too well, like... This is going Marauder. Do you have an Expo, sir? Yes, you do. Just have a look. Do you have SAVs? Not anymore. Oh, I don't have Siege. Pretty big. Pretty silly of me. He can't win this now. If he says GG, I'll be very surprised. Go fuck yourself. There we go. <laughs> that was going to be K, but it turned to L. America. 
So this guy is going to be flying his crap everywhere. And he is, he's definitely watching my stream, so he's definitely terrible. <laughs> Gotta love those baddies. So now I'm just going to have to make a few star forts to hunt those bad boys down. Don't want to let anything escape, for obvious reasons. Okay, the best way to kill someone fast, just have shit everywhere. So yeah. <sighs> Joys. Like, I don't even know. fun to play games like this when I'm streaming. Oh, he's still in the game. <laughs> yeah, he's terrible. He's dog crap. I'm gonna put two siege tanks there, just so nothing can get out of this section. What do we have here? An SCV. Go ahead. Transformation systems prime. Oh, another building. Are you ready for this? <sighs> another building. Got no and I'm the loser, folks. <laughs> Let's get into the He saved a lot of money for this crap. I'm just gonna put like siege tanks lying around. Just so like there's no like stray SCVs to get to me. Axe lab worker is face oh there it is. Can't be totally a good man at all the time. Ready to blunder. Can't dress. Fight or fight. <laughs> Ready to blunder. Can't wait. Coming through. Sure. <sighs> See. Let's get into the fight. I like it. Fucking acne ridden and bread cunt. <laughs> He's lovely. Oh, that's easy. Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. I know. What bad banner? <laughs> oh. Found him.